Hi everyone, this is PTY Trader. Today we're going to be installing the new Agama wallet, which was released a few days ago. If you guys have any questions, please join our Slack or write us on support. I hope you enjoy the video and please let us know what you think. Thank you. All right, everyone. So for the Mac OS uh, installation guide of the new Agama, we are going to go ahead and open up our Mac OS VirtualBox or VMware and download the actual file. So I've navigated to the support guide and I will download the Mac installers. You can also find these in uh, supernet.org and soon we will be able, uh, you'll be able to see them on the Komodo platform website. So once it's downloaded, uh, what you want to do is extract the file. Once it's extracted, then you'll want to run the, the Agama installer. If you have a previous version of Agama, uh, you might have to clean out the, the previous install, but it will all happen automatically. And okay, so we see that it's a 2.0.23a. So we double click the installer. And we will get a security warning. Okay, this machine is a bit slow since it's a VM. Okay, so we go to the security and privacy tab and general and uh, we click open Okay, and uh, it's a pretty standard, the installation. Click accept the agreement. And it seems that it's ready to install. Um, I did not have a previous version on this machine, so it went uh, directly into the install. However, if you have a previous version, what you want to do is it'll ask you if you want to delete the Zcash params folder. You can select, or you don't select that option. What you do is you select reinstall current version. Once you do that, it'll ask you, do you want to delete the previous binaries? Then you say yes. Once that's done, then it will go into what we're seeing now, which is the actual install. Okay, so it'll ask us if we want to run Agama. We will say yes. I've added a few more notes. Uh, I'll go through them once Agama is up and running. And as you can see, things have changed from the previous version. We've removed a lot of things. So for now, we just want to run uh, KMD native. And as you can see, there's no more fiddling around. You go directly into the Komodo um, screen. And what it's doing now, it's loading blocks. So I will give it a few minutes. It should take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to load the blocks that are already synced. Actually, never mind. It, uh, apparently, I don't have many blocks synced. It's only 48. So it's starting to sync now. And OK, so this is great. So once you're at this point, you can download the, the blockchain. It usually takes around eight hours to download. You will actually see uh, that there's addresses in this wallet uh, already. So you can actually uh, send funds here or you can uh, generate a new address if you want. But what I wanted to show you guys is I wanted to show you the CLI option. Uh, this is just something that we added for uh, for Mac and all of the other OS's. So you don't actually need to use the command line anymore. You can interact with the Gamma directly from here. 
So for example, we can run a get info command. And this is output you would see on the command line. Okay. Um, I will I will make another video on just commands, but since we have so many command line videos, you can watch other ones to learn about them. However, if you need the, a list of all the commands, you can type help, execute, and it will give you a list of all of the commands that you can run through the CLI. Okay, so now we have our wallet, and I want to show you as well the jumbler. So this is something that we added, and the jumbler works great on the command line. Uh, I, I've, I've done tests, and we will be releasing video guides, uh, video guides soon uh, for the non-GUI. I still have to make the GUI jumbler guides, though, so these will be coming out in the next weeks. However, this is uh, open for testing if you guys like. Jumbler is an anonymizer, so you'll be able to jumbler your or anonymize your Komodo through the Jumbler tab and the lovely import key tab, which is very important if you have a Komodo wallet uh, and you have a, a passphrase or you have a, a, a private key. You can actually import them now into the wallet. So you can import them as soon as as it's it's starting uh, and then you would have to wait for the blockchain to sync but you can also sync the blockchain and then import your private keys usually takes a little longer to do a rescan um, okay so once you have the wallet and it's sync another thing that you want to do is back up your wallet currently since we have we are a zero knowledge proof daemon we're not a bitcoin compatible daemon it's different to export your wallet that so the next version will have an export wallet that option for now we have to do it manually on mac os it's actually very simple and what i do uh, i'm going to delete this wallet that since it's the one i just created okay so i i made a a small script or i don't know if you want to call it a script but basically it copies your wallet that onto your desktop so you can hold it in a USB or in any other file. So for example, uh, if you guys want to know where the wallet that is located, you would navigate to library application support Komodo and if we hit LS you'll see that the wallet that is here. So what do we do? We want to get this wallet that, and this is a hidden folder, so you can't just copy paste it on the on the on the directory. So let's go back, and we can copy my little script here. Okay, and as you can see now, my wallet that is on my desktop. So I can take this and I can copy and save it in a secure folder anywhere where your cat and your grandmother can't get to it. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, once the wallet is synced, you'll be able to see a balance if you have a balance. If not, then you can start making transactions right away. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be releasing more videos as the wallet matures. And I also, I will be releasing videos uh, of the Jumbler GUI soon as well. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions, please visit KomodoPlatform.com. If you need any technical help, visit support.komodoplatform.com and write us a ticket or just uh, join Slack as well. Okay, guys. Have a great day.